Hi, I'm Katie. I've been surrounded with vintage goodies most of my life. But just in the last 10 years, I've figured out just how much delight I get from having it in my home and looking at it for other people. Come along as I share my shopping adventures at thrift stores, estate sales, and sometimes even along the curb. I will also be showing some of my decorating projects that I've completed and how I have chosen to add vintage to my home for a modern granny chic look. I hope you will find joy along the way as we reawaken vintage. What we've got. Let's have some fun. Okay, here we go. Um, get my glasses out of the way. Uh, it's a little bit of everything, so I don't want to waste your time. Let's get started. Um, we definitely have a newer wreath that will just be garbage. Wherever this was stored, uh, a mouse decided to get to it. Um, this is a pretty promising box. Again, the lid was already open. We've got some vintage snow still in the original package. We've got some, I'm going to try to zoom out there. Um, it says American made ornaments. It's not shiny bright. Kobe. I have never come across that brand before. I don't know if any of you have. Um, right off the bat, you guys might be going, hey, I want that. Um, obviously, since I'm just going through this now and being a vintage Christmas collector myself, um, I will have to go through it all and decide what I want to keep and what I don't. But please feel free to leave any comments of something you'd be interested in, and I'll try to keep track of who's interested in what and tag you when the time comes um, on Instagram. Okay? Um, wow. If you like pink ornaments, have I got a box here. Again, it doesn't look like shine. Again, Kobe brand. All right, so we've got one box, two box with one missing of the Kobe. What's this little box? Oh my goodness, hardly any ornaments in it, but look at that little box. All right, I'll be honest, guys, right now, this is a keeper box. Oh my goodness. Again, what's the brand? Maybe it's Kobe again? Look at the original price, 12 cents. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Okay, then we have, again, a brand I haven't seen, American... These are the big, big mother ornaments. These are not the small ones. So we have one, oh wow, two, three. I'm not going to have any room to walk if I put the, oh, oh, four, five boxes. Each box has three ornaments, and then there's some red ornaments down here. Um, a very, here we go. They're exactly like the ones I pulled out at the beginning. So, if you are in love with pink as your Christmas color, let me know because um, pink is not my color, so I would be okay with letting these go, okay? All right, there's that. Um, next little box. Let's see, we have some just some old tinsel and some more old tinsel and some more. <laughs> yeah, let's see, anything else? No, I'm hitting the bottom. It's just a box of tinsel and garland. Silver. Okay, well, there you go. Again, if you're interested, let me know. We pulled this box out, and right away we realized this is not a box of Christmas stuff. It's a lot of just random. There's a, a tub. I don't even know. Was that ice cream? I don't know what that tub originally was for, but there's that. Um, and things, again, not... Not, um, <laughs> not related to Christmas. Oh, a little, a nun? I don't know. All right, if that's of any interest to you. I'm sorry, I'm not good at keeping this all in the camera. Um, a wooden camel, very pretty. And this is really lightweight. I'm not even quite sure. Oh, look at the doll, had a cape. Okay, there we go. She's all, all good to go. Again, if you're interested in, this is not old. It sure is dirty, never out of the package. Um, a set of ornaments. Let's see if I can find, oh, it's got a, a barcode, so it's not, oh, oh, 1996. Again, if you're interested in anything like that, it's nice and complete. That's really good. Okay, we have this box. I see some goodness already. Oh my goodness, look at, oh, he's not in the best condition, but he's super cute. I have a few of these already. Oh, there's more down there, guys. It's a double layer. Okay, let's see. Oh, sorry. Oh, just drinking glasses, I think. It's not easy to do this with one hand. Oh, is this the... wondering if this is the 12 Days of Christmas set? 
Oh, no, this is a 1984 Merry Christmas McCrory Stores. Not sure where that is. Um, let's see what else we have. Oh, look at him. Again, he's a yellow, little yellowed and aged. Made in Japan. Again, I'm sorry, probably a keeper guy. Sorry. Uh, there's certain things that my heart goes a flutter for. Give me a vintage Santa any day. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, we have another Santa again. Poor guys. These are... <laughs> I guess they were well-loved and used because he has not much paint left on his face. So, not sure if there's any of you out there that maybe collect the ones that... Oh, here we go. That don't have... Oh, man, he's not too, too bad. But if you collect the ones and you're okay with them not having a lot of paint, uh, shoot me up. Oh, here's something down in here. Eh. Sorry, guys. All right, let's see. Oh, it's just a mug that says... Noel. Pretty cute. Not old. It's, it does say made in Japan, though, but it's got a barcode, so that's not too old. All right. Again, um, let's see. More glassware in there. Um, let's see if we've got any more. So far, there were three Santa mugs, I believe. Santa face mugs. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Again, not not too bad off. Poor thing. Oh, he's seen better days. I probably won't go through all of these. We get a gist, right? There's looks like a Santa mug on the top and then a glass, drinking glass on the bottom of each one. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cute. Again, doesn't look super old, but that's cute. I don't see any maker mark on it. That's cute. And let's see, on top of that, once, what do you want to bet? Another Santa mug was on top. I see her packing strategy as we go. Another one. Again, poor guy. <laughs> Needs some makeup. Um, and then there's some the sticks. What? I'm not quite sure. There's a bunch of chopsticks. <laughs> yeah. Bally High San Diego chopsticks. Anybody collect anything like that? I think I opened... I don't know that I opened both of these. Let's see. Yep, more. Oh, this is a bigger Santa mug face. Again, chipped paint on the handle, not the best. Probably not quite as old as the other ones, but uh, let me know if you're interested in any of those. Let's see, that's another Santa mug, I can tell. That's another drinking glass. Here I was thinking, oh, that's another, another Santa and the elf. Okay, we'll go on from that. We've got a couple of, like, little kids' baskets that are not old at all. Gingerbread one and a Santa one. Okay, this is the box, guys, that I'm gonna sit on the garage floor. This is what uh, vintage Christmas dreams are made of. So <laughs> I may not be able to get back up off the floor. Um, so let's see what she had. Look, she cared for these things. These are all in like individual like bread bags or grocery bags. So he's super cute. Oh my goodness, look at that elf. Again, probably a keeper. I'm sorry. I'm getting you guys all in, all excited for things that, that I'm going to keep. Um, look at them. They're both on the same felt stand. I'm not going to unwrap them and take them out of the bags now. Oh, my goodness. Well, he's not old. <laughs> Although he's super cute. Isn't he happy? That's one happy Santa. Oh, my goodness. What else do we have here? Oh, another, another guy. He's got a twin. Um... All right, guys, sorry. Oh, these are some, oh my, I'll have to put that in a second. You can see what they are, they're wind chimes. Oh, okay, I'll get to that in a second. Nope, oh, dogs barking in the background. Oh, we got a few sets of wind chimes. These could not be too old. They're really lightweight plastic. Um, again, if that's something that would float your boat, let me know. Um, oh, look at him. Yeah, see, she put him, she stored him in a bag that was what? Oh, a Christmas bow bag. Um, he's not perfect, but he's super darn cute. I'll have to, I don't know. I have to decide about him. Again, remember, if it's Santa, I like it. Um, boxed ornament. Let me see if I can get where you can see it. It's a little angel. It says Sears Christmas Around the World. There's the back of it. Not quite sure of what year it is. Maybe 70s or 80s, maybe 80s. Super cute. And then there's a matching from the same Sears 
Poland. Oh, I see. So she's from Poland. She's from Germany. Okay. All right. I'm getting the hang of it now. Okay. We've got grab bags, guys. All right. Let's see if I can untwist <laughs> while I'm holding the phone with my other hand. Oh, I'm sorry. Everybody's going to get seasick watching the phone jiggle. Okay. Let's see what's in our bag. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay. So obviously... Mrs. Santa was supposed to, oh, I see, just a second, I'm jumping too fast. Okay, so Mr. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Santa sat on the bench and were glued. Okay, but I have to tell you, these are a little scary looking. Look at how red they are. Why in the world is there so much red on their faces? Oh my goodness, no idea of age, 60s, 70s maybe? I don't know. If you're interested in those scary red-faced Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus, let me know. Okay, what am I seeing here? All right, guys. Oh, it's seen better days. We'll see if, oh, so. <laughs> so this, I'm guessing, is a little child's slipper, but an animal of some sort ate it. Made in Japan. But there's only one of them in the bag. We'll see if we come across another one. And last but not least in this bag, again, sorry. Oh, look at that. Is that homemade? That is, I think that's homemade by maybe a kid. Oh my goodness, look at that. Like popsicle stick, Santa Claus. Oh my goodness. Super cute, but I can live without it. Let me know. Okay, back to, oh. Now this is, okay, this is interesting. This is obviously a Putz or similar brand. Really nice church, still in pretty good condition. I'm not quite sure why this is falling down, but it is, it's got a mechanism in here. So it does something. All right, let's see if it works. Well, huh? <laughs> thought it was gonna work. Well, doesn't work. Does have a little break in the back. And like I said, I'm not quite, Sure, is there something missing down there as to why this is supposed to stand up higher? I'm not quite sure. Super cute. Needs a little TLC. The one stained glass window, that's pretty much gone. That one's intact, and that one's gone. So again, let me know. Let me know if you want to give it a new life. It's super cute, and I don't know. Maybe a new music box inside would fix it? Or I can tinker with it later. Okay, this is what was hung up. Another not... Not old at all Christmas wind chime that's got something something hanging from it that is more old. Oh my goodness, guys. All right, not that. Now, th oh, this is just a, a vintage plastic ornament that somehow got hung to the end. Okay, there's that. Oh, here's some more Christmas around the world. Uh, there's Denmark, a little girl from Denmark. And not to be forgotten, Italy. So super cute. From Sears sometime in our past. Let's see. Another pretty large putz house. Again, you could don't know if you know, you can just paint those poor dead trees. My husband did that with a couple of mine and brought them back and they look good as new. Um, again, no no glass in or plastic, you know what I'm talking about with the the windows pretty much gone. Could just use a little TLC, some sprucing up, but pretty darn cute. Um, that is not old at all, I don't think. I don't even know. Some garland, some bell garland, original in the packages still. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, a naked Cupid, naked doll. Um, still in the package. Oh, novelty crispy, you know, the fake stained glass. Pretty though, hummingbird. Originally they were 79 cents. That one and another one. Okay, let me know. Oh, and one last Christmas around the world, Austria. Okay, there's that. Let's see what's in the, oh, oh. Okay, well the box alone takes us back in time, right? A pastry cutter for $16.50. But let's see what's, what's in the box now. Let's see if I can get this with one hand. Oh my goodness, guys. And that side's taped, so. It sounds like maybe a bunch of tiny little ornaments. I don't think it's the original pastry cutter. All right, let's see. Let's see what is in here. Oh, that looks like a pretty old 
the Unbreakable Kind Christmas Decorations. But what is it? Oh, it still has a Save-On 49 cent. Oh, it's like a bunch, it's like a box of pretend copper kitchenware. Yeah, oh, and they're all ornaments. Okay, I get it. Let's see if that's what they all are. She, oh yeah, your little coffee grinder. She kept everything very organized. And then we've got the pot with the lid and some more pots. It just keeps going and going. So again, not up my alley. If that's something you would like, shoot me a message and let me know. And we've got two more bags with twist ties. So bear with me here for a second as I make you all nauseous and <laughs> try to open this up. The other one looks like maybe it has no twist ties. We might be lucky there. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's he's missing an eye, but pretty cute. I don't feel like it's super old. There's no made in Japan mark on it. It's cute. Tiny, tinier, not the big elf. Um, let's see what else. A little mouse ornament. These are all just, you know, just cloth covered over styrofoam. Super cute though. Oh, look at what we found. We found the other little slipper. Little kid slipper. I mean, like little kids, like maybe one to two year old, right? Not very big. That's a staple there. That's not probably super good for a child. Um, again, a little bit of <laughs> somebody decided to eat on that. So, hey, so I have a pair, although in very bad condition. But if you're interested, oh, there's another little, I don't know, it's like a mountain man elf guy, right? Pretty cute. Let's see what else. Oh, again. <laughs> Poor thing has seen much better days. I almost want to feel like that was home. <gasps> you know what? I think this was homemade. This feels like, well, maybe not. Maybe part of like an old egg carton, but I don't think it would be that tall. Anyway, looks like it's homemade. And, oh, there she is. She's cute. She, sorry, not in the camera. And last but not least in this bag, we have another homemade popsicle stick ornament if I can pull him out we had a Santa I think earlier and now we have a snowman again has some dirt but just super cute somebody was really crafty and creative back in the day okay and last bag so this was a pretty fun box a lot of good stuff stuck in here okay last bag I won't pull them all out I'll just pull one they're all the same so they're the plastic candles you know the felt and you would twist that over the branch of the tree, and there are one, one, two, three, four, five of them in there. Okay. Well, that was a pretty fun box. I'm just going to leave it all right there sitting on the floor of my garage because you don't want to watch me put it back in. All right, let's mosey on down. This is nothing to be excited about, I don't think. This looks like her collection. Again, there's stuff in here that's not Christmas-related. This is a collection of picture frames. Not even going to go through that with you on camera. Not worth it. All right, let's go to this one next. Again, I have a feeling this is newer stuff if I'm just looking at the top of it. Yeah, a dancing hat. Oh, wait a second. We've got some Halloween stuff mixed in here. Um, pumpkin lights, again, not super old. Kmart, $4.99. Not that old. Um, underwater light show. What in the world? So like for a spa or a pool? I don't even know. Again, not vintage, not something we wanna spend time with. Okay guys, I'm starting to get goosebumps here. Is this what I think? Okay guys. All right guys, the heart's starting to pound here. Sorry. Oh, look it, look it, look it. I don't think he's super, super old. But he's not brand new. No mark. Oh, there. Maybe there's a mark. I can't tell. All right. He's a keeper. Sorry, guys. Those of you that like Halloween, got to keep him. Okay. What's in this box? Again, doesn't look like an old box. And it's probably a set of four. It's a set of four mugs. Um, again, we've hit a new box here. A set of four mugs with puppies on them. Okay. Not old, but if you want some cheap puppy mugs, let me know this some ribbon I have no... all right those of you that grew up in the 80s am I taking you back you remember the warehouse 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Share with me your warehouse stories. What kind of records? Where was your first record? All right, so this has some, well, I have no idea, guys, what this, what this is. Oh, it's just a liner, I think, to a tablecloth. All right, well, that's super not exciting. The bag was more exciting than what was in it. And let's see, one more box. Looks like more, maybe more, oh, what is in there? It's not, I thought it was more dog mugs. It's not more dog mugs, but what is it? Again, this, is, this seems to be the box of not old stuff. Till Angel Multi Box. So again, not old, but it's some sort of ceramic angel. It's on some sort of stand in there. So, I don't know. If you're interested in seeing more pictures, let me know. And a random thing of lights down there at the bottom. Okay. We're done with that box. Next, we've got a doll. She's porcelain, but not old. Oh, and she does something. Does she play music? Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, she plays music. Okay, well, if you... Oh, it's a Christmas doll. I get it. Oh, that's nice. If you collect dolls like that, let me know. We've got a... This looks like a really old ornament, doesn't it? Uh, not ornament, the stocking. Yeah, that looks really old. Nothing in it. If you're interested, let me know. What else do we have here? We have the hooks for outside. Oh, well, he would be good. It's the Santa that we see, but his leg's broken. Yeah, well, if you want him, let me know. Another not not old angel. What are these? They're like plastic eggs that unscrew in the middle. They have a hook on them, so they're considered an ornament. There's like dried flowers. Oh, I see. It's got like a little snowman in it. I have never seen these. Any idea, guys? An angel? Oh, wait, it says. Fantasy by Feeder, San Fernando, California. I don't know. Are these like 60s or 70s ornaments? Uh oh, this one... This one's seen bells on that one. Another angel. And, oh, this one's rather different. What in the world? Just, huh. Very colorful. Definitely would stand out on a tree. Like I said, the one's broke. Let me know. Let me know if that catches your fancy. Oh, my goodness, guys. All right, I gotta sit down again. The boxes just keep going and going and going. Okay, so we already looked at our Santa and Miss No Leg. We already looked at this stuff. Okay. Um, a bell. Just, you know, the plastic bell. Again. Um, what is in here? I know. That looks like a... It's, see, she reused her bags. This is an or wheat bread bag. And it has a bunch of vintage packages of Christmas hooks. Well, I know some people collect them, so let me know. There's a few few in there. Kind of cute looking. Not the box. It's not a box, though. It's like a card. Oh, here's another one of these that was in another box. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at him. He doesn't seem super old by the look of him. All right. You know I have to keep him because he's a Santa. Sorry, guys. But again, I don't think he's super old, but it's super cute, right? Oh my goodness, she used, reuses the bag. It's egg buns. Egg buns. Okay. Next is, oh, okay. So just like the Santa, again, the bag she uses. This was a bag that had cassette tapes in it, I believe. TDK cassette tapes. And she reused it and put, oh, our snowman. Let me get his, sorry guys. Oh, he would need to be glued back on. So there you go. There's the little Santa. That's the, the holder, right? He, I mean, he's dirty and is missing a little paint, but it's better than the Santa that's missing the leg. Okay, so very interesting packaging. Oh, my guys. <laughs> I don't know. Circus clown, right? We can see a circus clown there. And if I flip it over, then we've got... A Santa. This is like really lightweight plastic. A Santa holding his bag of goodies. And then, what is this? I'm trying not to open the bag, but I got to. I got to. It's got old masking tape, so these have not seen the light of day in a while. 
All right, so we got, ooh, now he's pretty darn scary. What is that? Okay, guys, <laughs> what is, what is he holding? Is that a dog and a doll? I don't know. That's pretty creepy. I don't know. Would you really want that on your tree for your children? He doesn't look at all pleasant. And then, so these other three, like I said, they're like that hollow plastic, if you know what I mean. There's, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So I don't think, these aren't super old, maybe 70s or 80s, but I mean, they're cute. If you like, like that sort of thing, let me know. Or if you want the, the devil elf, let me know. <laughs> um, okay, this is part of, oh yeah, you got baby Jesus and a couple of the, the wise men and Mary and Joseph, I think. Okay, so okay. Just, just plastic, probably not super old. Um, oh my, <gasps> look it, look it, oh my goodness. Perfect condition, all the dots are there, the eyes, the ears. Okay, you know what I'm gonna say, sorry guys, keeping that one. All right, let's see. It's the never-ending box. Wow. That's a big one. That definitely did not go with the tinier manger set. Um, it says 99 cents on the bottom, so she, she got a bargain someplace. Again, not something I would be interested in. If you would like it, let me know. Um, just some old doilies. Um, okay. I some It's a figurine plane... Not a banjo. You're going to be all, all able to tell me. It's got a, it's wooden. Um, okay. And looks like we have a little set. So this one is, what is she playing? Oh, is she not? I can't tell. I'll have to take them out of the bags later. But again, this is the kind of stuff that interests you. It looks like a set. So let me see how many I have. We have another one there playing a Harp. Again, sorry, I know the light with the cellophane packaging. So it looks like there's five of them. So they were all meant to go together. They don't really go with the big tall guy I showed you. Um, oh my goodness. Look at those. They're not in the best condition. They're little plastic snowmen. He's in a little better condition, but this one's got just some crud that needs to be washed off. Super cute. I'd be willing to sell one of them if anybody was interested. Oh, still in cellophane. This is a felt mustard yellow boot. Pretty cute. Let me know if you're interested. Um, what's this? Oh, this is a bag of plastic musical instruments. Got a banjo type of thing and some violins and stuff. So, again, let me know. And last in this box is... Um, it is the nativity scene in a plastic ornament of some sort. All right, guys, I have to take and put these away because they're on my lap. Can't get up to the next box. So just a second. Okay, let me stand up here. Okay, we'll get to this just because it's, again, something brand new. It's not old. $15.99 from Logs Drug, so won't be selling it for $15.99. If you want a deal and you want a musical place three tunes, let me know. Um, okay, this box does not look old. Bunch of strings of lights. Lots and lots of strings of lights. A light for street lamp. Musical ornament stand. Just the stand for the musical? Okay, if you're interested, let me know. That's not old, $4.99 original. Yeah, not old. We've come across a new box of stuff. Well, maybe. Let's see, oh, that's a bag to remove your trees. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Oh, that's new. I do see some of the vintage, if it really is vintage, some of the candles, if you know what I'm talking about. There is, all right, sorry guys, gonna switch things from one box to another. I thought this was just a box of lights, but there is some stuff down at the bottom of this. Oh my goodness, this is a half hour long. I hope I'm not being too boring for you guys. Like I said, I just enjoy watching people when they get new stuff. There's that ornament stand. And seeing what they found. Oh, again, not old, but if you're interested in porcelain building, it just says, it's just a building. Um, okay, let's see. What is this? It has a Santa on it. If it's old, I might be keeping it. Let's see. What is it? It 
has a Made in Taiwan sticker. I do not think it's old. Oh, it's cute. Merry Christmas. It's just a little, just a little bag for a gift. Nothing, nothing big. All right. These are what I was thinking about. So people use these a lot. They craft them. They glue a lot of cute things at the bottom, make different seasonal ones. So there's two of them in here if you're interested. And then everything else in the bottom here is, it's not, not real old stuff at all. That's cute. It says Pine Hollow. Has maybe a, I don't know, 80s look to it. A bell. Okay. Um, and then I'm not quite, if what is in here is in here. <laughs> all right, guys. It's, they're Godiva chocolate boxes. Do we dare think that there's still Godiva chocolate <laughs> in here? Um, I took a peek earlier at one of the boxes because it had newspaper wrapped in it. And again, I wanted to prep it a little bit before I opened it for you. And uh, the newspaper was from 1986. Okay, I think that these are empty. Thank goodness. Um, but why she kept Godiva boxes, I don't know. A little assortment of them, but that's okay. Okay, let's see. Where do we go to next? I'm telling you guys, oh, it just goes, well, this is something. Um, okay, guys. <laughs> the, I'm not even quite sure. In a Montgomery Ward's bag. Again, we can go back in time just with it's got a really old cord, but it is a bunch of candelabras. These are plastic. There's one of them missing, and then it's gold. Um, it I don't know if it would need to be rewired. It might be okay. I don't see any frays or chews, but I'm not quite sure what it is. It's not it's not a sled. It's just a decoration. And you got the extra orange bulbs. So she was organized, but my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna put that in that box. Put it in the box. Okay. All right, guys. Oh my, we got another good bag here. Again, if you see a Santa, sorry. Okay, another felt. We had one of these earlier, a mustard yellow felt boot plastic. If you're interested, let me know. Oh, <laughs> I just beheaded Santa. Okay, let's see. Oh my. Well, this poor guy is missing his boot. So if you've ever wondered what was under the boot of a Santa, that's it. It's a mangled up piece of mess. Well, maybe we'll find the boot later. We'll see. I mean, he's definitely old. If I find the boot, oh my goodness, look at that. Little bag on the back says Merry Christmas. If I find the boot, I'm keeping it. If not, if someone wants to love him and put some new boots on him, let me know. Um, okay. Oh, I see more mustard yellow. Okay. Little wise men or something. Cute. Up for grabs if you're interested. Um, he's not old. This is like styrofoam made in Taiwan. Little mouse though. Super cute. Got hair in his eye. Can't see right now. Another mustard boot. She must have really liked mustard boots. So, and then what is this? This is like paper mache. Is this? It almost seems like it's homemade, but I don't know. Little mouse, cute. Don't think it's real old. Again, if you're interested, let me know. Okay. Put some of this stuff back in the bag. Sorry, guys. Oh, I beheaded poor Santa again. Okay. We've got another Santa. So, again, we, we go through the spiel again. Sorry, he's a keeper. Oh, look at him. Another blow mold. I have a Halloween one. And I have a Santa one now. Pretty cute. The auction was good to me. There's a mark on it, I think, but I'll look at it later. It doesn't really matter to me. I just like it. All right. A plastic white tree. So it has a price tag, $1.19. So if you're interested, let me know. Did we even go through this box yet? I don't even know. Did we? Oh, my gosh. Um, a camel. Not old. Still has the price tag. It's a... A Dakin Dakin, little push toy. If you're interested in that, let me know. Okay, Merry Christmas Bears. Oh, probably battery operated. Again, not, not something old, but if it's something you're interested in, let me know. I'll have to check and see if it works. Let's see what is in this bag. Not in the world. It's a bunch of... <laughs> okay, so you can kind of see it in there. 
a brass like what you would put normally you put like wood right for a fire but it's yeah that's all that's there a green christmas tree that's small it's and then a christmas tree light extension i'm not quite sure all right let's put some of this stuff back in here and we'll go on we got a bunch of not too vintage but a whole un open thing of gift wrapping paper okay what's in here oh my gosh oh my wow okay <laughs> i gotta pull this out so we have boxes of pristine christmas ornaments i'm sorry okay i've seen these before i think i've sold one a set before um these are just immaculate no breaks in the plastic that i can see $1.79 is the original price tag on this. Sorry, the box is going to stay open. So there are one. Oh my, guys. Sorry, let me try to pull these out. So I've got two boxes. They're different. What's inside of them is different, although the coloring is the same. Um, then we have a white one with a... <laughs> That's obviously not supposed to go in there. A white set. Again, they look and be in really good condition. These are all things I would sell. And then we've got this one, five-piece set. Wow, I'm just amazed that I wonder if she ever even hung them up. I mean, you know, usually a box will get wear and tear as you're pulling the ornament in and out. And she, these just look like they just sat in this box. Let's see, that, these don't look super old, but they're pretty. Again, Long's Drug, one of her go-tos. Just pretty. They're glass, but not super old. Oh, my guys. oh, these are cute. All right, for those of you that like the old boxes of hangers, they're stuck, so they stuck together. Oh, yeah. Sorry if I had <laughs> trying to get one out completely so you can see it. Nursery Land. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if that's just a Southern California brand or all over, but... I know, I know it isn't Southern California nursery that's now called Armstrong's, but cute. All right, let me know if you're interested in those. And then I see some indent. Oh, my. These I'll probably be keeping, guys. Sorry. I think there's two boxes. Again, Long's Drug again. Really pretty. It says hand-decorated glass Christmas tree ornaments. European craftsmanship. They're just beautiful, aren't they? It's hard to find the indent Christmas tree ornaments anymore. So pretty. Made in Romania. So I've got one that's like the teardrop shape. And then I have one that's the round ones. And then, oh my goodness, well, and then another one that's the round ones. And then what in the world? Oh, there are these two. Oh, oh, oh. Those are falling out, guys. Okay. All right. Again, these look like she never used them. I never took them out of the box. So pretty. I've never seen these before. I think some of them fell out when I was pulling the box. Sorry. Okay, so it looks like four pieces in each one. Yeah, one of them fell from this box into there. So again, really good condition. And this one does have a little, a little munch of the box and a little tear. But the ornaments themselves look to be in pretty good condition. A couple of, I don't even want to know what's down there. What's down there? this oh it's just <laughs> i think it's hershey kiss wrappers that someone tried to put into the shape of bells or something maybe some kids and then there's hooks on them all <laughs> all right well that's different um i don't know if that's another yeah that's a third box of hangers that's just like that one so those are there okay so there's that lots of pretty ornaments all right, let's hop up here for a second. This is the newspaper I was telling you about, 1986. Oh, my goodness, guys. Okay, oh, another. This one's still in its original package, the Christmas candle. That's pretty good. I had moved these out of the box earlier, so there's a couple of really pretty older ornaments in there. Let's see. We've got a set of Ritz bubble lights. Again, don't know if they work. Don't know if those would be a keeper or not. Originally, $5.90. Just the box. The box is super cute, right? Oh my goodness. Never had any of those before. Um, again, more Long's Drug stuff. 
Um, wooden Noel looks like a little choo-choo train candle holder. Um, they both say Noel. They're just different, different colors. So if that's something you're interested in. Let me know. And then let's see what else is. We've got ten decorative. Oh, sorry guys. Looks like just blinking. Those are the icicle lights, right? But like old ones, because it's from Sears. And old Sears ones. These are all Sears. Oh my goodness. Sears Christmas lights. Again, never used because who would store them back in the same box just like that? So brand new lights. Don't know if they work, obviously. Clear bulbs. The other ones were multicolored. We've got some poinsettia lights by Beacon. I don't know. J no, what is that? I don't know what, I thought that was J.C. Penney's, an old J.C. Penney's, but I don't know. Why am I more interested in the store that it came from? <laughs> I guess it just takes me back. All right, we're at the bottom of the box. So two sets of poinsettia lights, 22 a set. I'd be willing to sell. And again, more brand new lights, but I don't know if they're working or not. Okay, so that's mainly a box of lights. Okay, so this is interesting. I pulled this out. This is a string of lights. Scott, obviously don't know if the string of lights work, but each one has a cover for the light that's, they're plastic that are little scenes. So again, if it's something you're interested in, I'm trying to see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe? I would assume there should have been eight. Maybe there's an eighth around here. Um, again, not old. He's one of those... Santa's, you know, musical. This is super cute. So I don't have a battery in it right now. It lights up as well. But it it plays Silent Night. I mean, super cute and super old. Look at that. I'm sure the little lights right there, right? Next to the Silent Night songbook probably are light up when you put the batteries in. And, uh, all right. We're almost done, guys, I promise. I think two more boxes? We'll see. Oh, my goodness, guys. <laughs> I'm sure you've left. You've left and come back, and I'm still here. Um, let's see. Again, Montgomery Ward bag. <laughs> oh, the memories I have of Montgomery Wards. All right. Um, just not, not too old. Just towels. Sears. There's more for your life at Sears. Oh, my goodness. Again, not super old. Placemats. Set of four placemats. Okay. More placemats, I think. Yeah, looks like another set of four green on the back. One, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, six. A set of six. So if that's something you'd be interested in, obviously in the plastic, it's a little hard to see. It does look like one of them has a stain on the edge. Oh my, oh. I'm a sucker for a good afghan. Look at that. It has a little yellowing, but super cute. Super fun, like Candyland colors for Christmas, right? Oh, I'll have to unpack it later, see if it's in good condition. I'll let you know whether it's something I'm selling. Okay, we've got some old partridge in a prayer tree napkins. Are they a bunch of different napkins? Or are they all the same? All the same. There's only a few in there, but I know some people like Gibson, 60 cents. Some people like stuff like that. Okay. We've got some tablecloths, but I can see already that they are pretty stained up. So that's good. That means that there was some good time had at the Christmas table. So if you are a magician and know how to get out stains, first of all, leave a comment. We would love to hear it. Um, if you're interested in any of these, let me know and I can take measurements for you. But again, be forewarned. They, this one has a lot and they're both poinsettia themed. Super. I mean, look at that. That's just super cool. But again, lots of stains and it seems like for how organized this lady was. Oh yeah. My guess is she really probably tried to get these out. But again, I don't know. Super, super cool. But Stains, stains, stains. All right, let's see. This looks like a apron. Well, maybe. 
I'm not quite sure. It's got stains as well. Oh yeah, I think somebody hand made this. It's like it's not it's like a full body apron, you know, that you actually put your arms in. But that the stitching looks like it's handmade, huh? But again, super cute. Kind of reminds me of a a grandma, right? Like your grandma would wear. It's like a frock. All right, so that's enough of that. I'm sure there's probably there. I did say there were some stains on that. Let me know if you're interested in it. New stuff. Oh, they're cute, but they're new. New, new, still with the price tag. Oh, there's a kitty one. I think my girlfriend, my best friend, she might want that. Let's see, another one brand new. Still have the tags on. All right, guys. Now this one, what's this? This is pretty cool. Oh my goodness, is it a set of napkins? I think this is a set of Christmas napkins. So oh, I'm sure they have stains like the tablecloths, but they're just so neat. I'm trying to, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, look at that. Super cute, super cute. Okay, let me see. If you're interested, let me know. I can look at them closer. One, two, I'm trying to see how many, maybe, I can't tell. I want to say maybe six or eight in the package. So if you're interested in those, again, more just new towels. I'm not going to waste pulling them out. We've got, oh, it's like a set though. So maybe it's worth pulling out if you like this kind of stuff. It's one pot holder, one towel, and like a kitchen mat. So brand new, still has the tags on it. We've got one set like that. This is a pot holder and two towels. Again, all these, she never even used them. This is super cute. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's got the mat again. And then the two other pieces. She obviously got them after Christmas. At the Christmas sale. My kind of lady. Super cute pot holder. Homemade if you're interested. Again, brand new towels. Never used. The little fingertip towels. That's nothing. What's this? Okay. Big Santa. Even though I do like Santa. I will pass on this one if anybody wants it, but it does look like, I don't know if there's some color runoff. I don't think there should be pink there, but let's look at the back. Oh, no, the price, the price tag's still there, originally $12.95, so probably never used, so I don't know. And then one more, this seems like, like a front porch. Again, brand new still. Target. Oh, she liked her geese, her Christmas geese. Okay, that's that for that box. I think we only have one box left, you guys. Thanks for hanging in. I hope that you're enjoying some of the vintage finds. It's always, like I said, I'm, I'm always, I must feel honored. You know, think of the, of the lady. She took such care. She obviously loved vintage stuff. You know, she kept it all really as neat as she could in bags. And oh my. Okay, let me slide this one out of the way. We'll do one last one. Okay, so obviously he is not old. <laughs> oh, he is big, very, very big. A Santa with a magnifying glass looking at the world, right? Planning out his his trip. Um, this is super heavy. I wouldn't say that, and it's still brand new. I wouldn't say that this would be something I would ship. I'll probably try to sell it local. Just way too much postage. Okay, last one. Okay, so... From the glimpse I'm getting, she was a thrifter, a lady from our own hearts, right? Because look at, you know these are from Savers or some thrift store, right? Where they put them in the bag and hang them up. Um, so let's see. She had a pretty good eye. Look at that. And it's a Santa, you know what I'm going to say. Keeper. But that thing, I don't know what he is. So I don't know how old these are since they're thrift store finds. Let's see. Um, yeah, not too old. We have a snowman. Yeah, there, yeah. Oh, look at that, though. That's pretty cute. And that, she's going to be a keeper. Look at her. Look at that. But the bear, not interested in the bear. Um, yeah, those are a dime a dozen. Oh, these are cute. Oh, my. Pipe cleaner snowman. Three of them. She only paid $1.25 for them. That's pretty good. So, those are cute. Just handmade. Let me know if you're interested. Oh, that's a, like a red scarf. Very pretty with a pin. I don't know anything about jewelry. I don't think that that's real anything, but maybe I'll have to look into it. Very pretty. Oh, can you imagine her now? 
was she classy like this did she wear this oh the question all right oh something broken in a bag and a candle again not not super old and i think oh i think that's a christmas frog can't quite tell i think we're two are not very old oh okay well there's a santa crocheted santa head Ooh, that's up for sale wow this is this is an old Santa, so, you know, I'll be keeping him. Oh, and it's got one of those, you know, you hang them on the door, and it usually has a jingle bell. Yeah, you can hear it in there to let people know. That will be for sale if you want that, but I'll keep the Santa. And a reindeer with bells not old. Oh, great. <laughs> we even have a dinosaur, Christmas dinosaur. Let's see, we got some, whoopsie, sorry, guys. Dr. Seuss ornament, originally $6.99, Jim Henson. That will be up for sale. Let's see what else. Oh, another bag, another Santa, not old. A um, bunch of Christmas cards. Um, not, not old stocking. A not old stocking hanger. Pretty cute. Let's see what this is. A not old twirling table piece or treetop angel. But again, they're not old. We like the vintage stuff, right? Oh my goodness. It's like... Oh my goodness. Hand crocheted Santa's. Again, good eye. All this stuff looks like it was from the thrift store, I think. Or a rummage sale, like a church rummage sale. I'm not sure. Um, oh, look at him. He's so cute. He has to stay. A couple more boxes of, oh, a wonderful life Christmas ornament. And a Bedford Falls, another wonderful life, Bedford Falls. Okay, well, if you're into that stuff. And I think we're just about done. I don't know what was in there. Oh, those are new. Blingy, very pretty. Not my cup of tea, if you're interested in those. Uh, we have, oh, this is, is this old? Thrifty, so it's kind of old. More tinsel garland. If it's something you'll be interested in. I think I've covered everything in that box. All right, guys. So, obviously, I have to get to organizing all of this stuff. Deciding exactly what I want to keep and what I want to get um, into hands of other ones of you that love vintage stuff as much as I do. So, as always, leave a comment if there's anything you'd be interested in that you know for sure I didn't already say that I wanted to keep. And I will try to get in touch with you guys first. And then from there, we'll take pictures of other stuff and um, put them up for sale in other places. So, thanks. My first attempt at a, a video. I appreciate you hanging in for as long as you did. And that's it. Um, happy shopping, happy uh, thrifting, happy finding lots of vintage goodies for yourself. Bye for now.